So many of us will have asked, how do I create my own NFT? How do I mint my own NFT? Creating your own NFT is the same thing as minting your NFT. So before you can create your NFT, you have to create a piece of art that you want to sell. Yes, there are many platforms to choose from, but usually you just need to fill in your NFT details, upload your digital art or file, and pay the minting fee. So we are going to be breaking all this down in a few minutes. If you like selling your NFT, you can also put it on a number of NFT marketplaces too. Before we go ahead to look at how you can create your own NFT, I want you to check out Gate.io NFT Magic Box. Gate.io NFT Magic Box is a platform for the creation and auction of NFTs to be easily accessible to everyone. It focuses on the management of NFT artworks through well-known blockchain technology. So before minting your NFTs, this is what you have to do. You are going to be needing three things. The first is your song or artwork or collectible of your choice. So some crypto to pay the minting fee. Then you're going to need a cryptocurrency wallet to store your NFT that you eventually created. So you also be needing to pick the blockchain where you want to create your NFT. So what is an NFT basically? So an NFT is a type of cryptocurrency that represents something unique, collectible, and that cannot be replicated. So what can be an NFT? A photo can be an NFT, videos can be an NFT, audio and other types of digital files can be an NFT. Do I need a specific wallet to use NFTs? So to make it simple, we recommend using Metamax or Trust Wallet. These two crypto wallets support a wide variety of blockchains. You should always double check, however, that your wallet supports the blockchain your token is on. So we've made videos before now on how to create your Metamax wallet both on your smartphone and on PC. Go ahead to click the link up there now to watch the video. We've also created a video on how to create a Trust Wallet account. Go ahead to click the link up there now to see how to do so. So you'll be asking a question or another important question to answer is what blockchain should I use? So there are quite a few blockchains to choose from when minting an NFT. The Ethereum network was the first major blockchain to offer NFTs. So today, the list of NFT compatible blockchains now include the Binance Smart Chain, Polkadot, Tron, Tezos, and many more. So most NFT nowadays exist on either Ethereum or BSC. However, gas fees on Ethereum has made minting and handling NFTs quite expensive. So the Binance Smart Chain is a much cheaper alternative and also benefits from its faster transaction speed. So if you are looking for cheaper transaction fee and faster transaction speed, you should consider the Binance Smart Chain. So another important question you must answer before creating your NFT is what platform can I use to create NFTs? So the platform you intend using is dependent on the blockchain you want to use and your personal choice. Most of the top NFT platforms use the Ethereum blockchain. OpenSea or Raribo are two popular options to go with. BakerySwap and Treasureland comes handy if you are considering projects built on Binance Smart Chain networks as they have simple interface and cheap fees for minting your NFT. So if you want to trade your tokens easily afterwards, it's probably best to choose a platform that has a marketplace you are familiar with. So another important question you have to answer before minting your NFT is, can I transfer an NFT from a BSC marketplace to another? So the thing is, you can easily transfer your NFTs between marketplaces, so long as the new platform supports your token type. So what you cannot do is to transfer your NFT directly to a marketplace on another blockchain. For example, OpenSea does not natively support Binance Smart Chain NFTs. Hope that makes sense. So final steps in creating your NFT proper. So after you got your wallet set up, you will want to connect it with the NFT marketplace you plan using. Using OpenSea as our example, clicking on the create button in the top left prompts you to connect your wallet. You will then be presented with a list of compatible wallets that are available and choosing yours will prompt you to go through the connection process. So if you have Metamax or Coinbase extensions installed, you will see a pop-up asking if you will want to connect your wallet, which can be done with a few button clicks. 
if you are using the Coinbase Wallet app, you can also connect to the marketplace by using the QR code scanner, which you can find to the right of your balance in the main wallet screen. Creating an OpenSea account is easier. All you need to do is to link your OpenSea account with your MetaMax account. So how do you go ahead to create an NFT? So after you've connected your wallet, you arrive at the page you use to create an NFT. And if you don't end up there, you can get there by clicking the create button that both platforms put in the upper right hand corner. Before we start creating our NFT, a word on collection. Both platforms support collections, which are pretty much what they sound like. If you want to create a series of NFTs, you can use the collection to do so. On OpenSea, you will have to go to your profile picture in the top right, then go to my collections, then click on what? Create a collection. So once this is done, click on create in the upper right corner and upload your artwork. You will need to come up with a name and description for your artwork. Optionally, you can also add an external link to promote your art. So listing your NFT, how do you list your NFT? So now you can see your artwork in your collection. Click on it and you see the detailed stats of this piece. To sell it, click on listing and then sell. You'll be taken to a new screen where you can select the type of listing, either fixed or timed auction. Now go ahead to set the price and the duration. There are also additional options to sell it as a bundle or reserve for a special buyer. Keep in mind that you need to pay the fee, which is 2.5% of the total cost of the NFT so that if your wallet balance is below 0.05x, you may have to deposit additional funds to complete the listing. And just like that, our first NFT is now live. The NFT ecosystem is growing fast and becoming easier to use. For anyone interested in meeting their own NFTs, the process is quite simple. Whether you want to create, buy or sell NFTs, there's a project out there for you to use. Happy minting. This was way easy, right? Hope you got value in this video. In the world of NFTs, a whole lot of things are happening. So you can create your NFT, you can list it on different marketplaces. People have been made millionaires just by minting their NFTs. So can you, there's no impossibility. Support this channel by smashing the subscribe button right away. Also like and share this video. If you have any question, drop it in the comment section below. I will be available to attend to you. Peace out.